guys welcome back in today's video I'm gonna share another street food item I shared baigani before aloo pie pepperoni, doubles and a few others so go check that out I will leave links down below to all those that I did before so this dish is a vegetarian one it's called kachori and a lot of you might think it's familiar to falafel which is also a chana or chickpea based patty but falafel you usually roll them in balls and fry them so kachori is basically a vegetarian patty I'm making mine with ground chana or chickpeas and ground dal or split peas so if you guys want to see how I make this kachori then keep watching so these are the ingredients you'll need and everything that I have here will be listed in the description box below so just click the little arrow and you'll see all the exact measurements that I'm going to be using so I have some chana or some chickpeas and this is the dry one that I soaked overnight and we're soaking it overnight because you want it to get a little bit tender so that when you put it into the blender it blends nicely and it doesn't give the blender a hard time so you cannot substitute the canned chickpeas for this because if you blend the canned chickpeas it's not gonna turn out how you want it to turn out it's gonna come out even more smoother than you want it it's gonna come out more like hummus so you wanna stick to the dry one I have some dal or some split peas that I've also soaked overnight so it got a little bit more tender it's not as hard as it usually would be I have some ground coriander this is optional because I usually make falafel I'm kinda making it like a fusion between falafel and kachori so you guys can omit whatever you don't like from this recipe so coriander is optional I have a hot pepper some garlic some cilantro which is also optional but I love the taste that it gives and it's unique to falafel as well I have some bandana or culantro or ricao if you can't find this then just use cilantro alone you can also add parsley to this as well I have some flour some baking powder and some salt you can also add a little touch of black pepper as well I'm not gonna add any so now what I'm gonna do is put this into a heavy-duty blender or you can put this in your mill your dal mill or something that's gonna crush these up into very fine bits so if you know your blender is not a heavy duty one then don't put these in there because it's gonna mash it up so try to get something like a mill or something that you know is gonna mash these into tinier bits channel looks like when you chop it in your food processor or your blender or whatever you use to chop it so it's it's not too too fine it's a little bit coarse I don't know if you guys can see that and then this is what the dal or the split peas looks like so I'm gonna blend up my seasonings now and I forgot to mention that I'm gonna add some scallions as well or sives so you want to just chop this up you don't want to put water in it because you don't want it too watery maybe you can add a little drop of water just to get the blender going but do add too much so I'm gonna chop these up in the blender and then we'll mix everything together so now that I've ground up my chickpeas or chana and my split peas or dal and my seasonings we're gonna just mix everything together and then we're gonna fry it so I'm just gonna add the split peas or the dal to the chana or the chickpeas and I know um, split peas is not traditionally used in kachori but I like the taste that it gives and it's also not used in falafel this is just my take on it but a lot of people nowadays use dal or split peas in their um, kachori and this is a great alternative like a really good vegetarian alternative you could use these as patties so falafel you would usually um, fry them round like balls but kachoris are usually fried flat 
and then you can cut them open and put chutney or you can just break it and dip it in the chutney however you want to eat it so once that's mixed now we're gonna add all the dry ingredients together so the salt and the baking powder goes into the flour and I'm also gonna add my coriander powder like I said this is optional I just love the taste of it I'm not gonna add a lot because this has a really strong taste so just give that a mix to combine now let's add the seasoning as you can tell I love to put a lot of seasoning in this even though the chutney is gonna have seasoning I like it to have a lot of seasoning as well because then you can eat it just like that if you don't have chutney so mix that really well to incorporate all those seasonings into the um, chana and the dal your flour mixture this is the point where you can use your hands because it's gonna get a little bit messy I like to give it a taste and mine needs a little salt so once it's finished mixing and everything's incorporated now it's time to fry it so you want to put up a frying pan with some oil to heat up on medium heat and then we'll go ahead and start frying them so once your oil is nice and hot you're gonna take some of your mixture into your palms roll it into a ball depending on how big you want it I don't want mine too small I want it a little bit big and you're gonna flatten it out if you want however you can leave it into a bowl and let it fry like that After about seven minutes you'll notice that the outside of the kachori is gonna get really nice and golden brown it's not gonna get too dark but it's gonna get a really nice color and that's when you'll know it's ready so once you have it on medium heat and it gets this really nice color then you'll know it's ready and you want to put it on a plate with some paper towels just so it drains the excess oil and then I'm gonna continue and I'll show you guys the finished product one thing I forgot to mention is the thicker your kachoris are you want it to cook longer because the insides are not gonna cook if it's too thick so you would want to leave it on the heat for a longer time so because mine are thick that's why I left it for so long but if yours are thinner then between four to five minutes should be good for mine I would say between seven to nine or seven to ten minutes and like I said you can do these in bowls or you can do these flat like how I'm doing it
the finished kachoris or falafel or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's extremely crispy on the outside. And I couldn't help myself, so I just took a piece of this one. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It is very crispy on the outside. And to eat this, I have some tamarind sauce, or you can use mango sauce or mango chutney. So I'm gonna dip it. Mmm, that is really good. So along with tamarind sauce, you can also serve it with some Greek white sauce, just like you would serve falafel with. It's really, really delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really simple and delicious vegetarian recipe. Leave me your comments down below and tell me how you guys make yours. Um, if you haven't liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to see all the latest videos as soon as I post them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!